We're out here in New York right now. We're at Legacy. They just opened up a few months ago and I'm excited to check out the store. I'm with my guy P right now and I'm ready to see what you got, bro. Cause I know you got some gems. I know you got some cool stuff. What you got for us? Welcome to Legacy, first of all. Thank you. I'm, I appreciate it that you were here in New York and you stopped by Legacy to Definitely. check out our store. Definitely. So we just opened um, two months ago on November 11th mm -hmm. and um, you know, right in the heart of New York, right across from Empire State Building. Yeah, bro, that's dope. Um, yeah, yeah, Tour Central. So, you know, we opened the store based on what, what the customer out here wants, right? Mm -hmm. So they want the retros, they want the dunks, they want um, Yeezys. So, mm -hmm. you know, we got a, quite a big selection, over 100 pairs of Jordan 1s, as you can see, and every retro that, that kind of just feeds what everybody wants. So when it comes to the other retros, we know that there's heavy trends in ones and fours. So yeah. you know you can always win with that. Yeah. But when it comes to the other models, how do you curate those for your audience that you have here on the East Coast and your every day-to-day -day consumers? Or even, do you get a lot of tourists that you think come through the store as well? We get a lot of tourists, right? Most of our clientele here is all tourists. Okay. So it's being in, being in just the heart of New York mm -hmm. and across from like a landmark like Empire State Building, people are always out here just trying to go into the building. And you know, when they're standing lines outside, they come by here real quick and pop in, shop in. Um, besides the ones and fours good question um the models that sell best i'd say probably threes mm -hmm. threes and elevens okay those are those are the top models after the ones and fours so you One try to stay, issue, right? definitely stay heavily stocked on certain colorways and having as many pairs as you can in different yeah sizes you can see those. right now we try to stack so heavy that they sell so quick the white cement threes Black cement threes, they're not yeah. even here no more. They come <laughs> in, they leave the same day. <laughs> right, I feel that, I feel that. I mean, it's hard, you know, especially with a classic sneaker, it's hard yeah. to stay with that on inventory a lot. This side is all Tour Central. This is Dunks. You know what's funny is that? So Tour many, Central on this side. Boy. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So many young kids come in from Europe and they're like, oh, we've never seen these Dunks. Oh, that, that was from my personal stash. Wait a the minute. The Jordan 8. Can we, can we take him down memory lane one time? <laughs> yeah, back, oh my back when Jordan brand and, um, sorry, Nike started making jo uh, dunks and Jordan themes, right? They did the threes, the fours, yes. the eights, the sevens. People don't even know about the oh. Olympic seven and the and the Jordan eights. This is, this is a good time. So for me, like, this is around the time That's when I was classic. able to, like, afford to purchase shoes yeah. and get those type of sneakers yeah. uh, coming up in high school. So... That just really stuck out out of all these shoes Check right this. here on the wall. Check this 2000, what is Ooh. it? Frankenstein Air Forces from this the mid 2000s. Another good era. See patent leather and everything on the shoes like yeah. this back in the day. And it's crazy because, you know, you got the new generation and they kind of cringe when they see that. Yeah. But I feel like I like that you still have these type of things yeah. in the storage. We try to mix in, yeah, yeah, mix in a little bit of old school with the new school so people have a variety and a taste of everything, right? Did you have these old shoes? That means you've probably been around for a while, right? I've been a while. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about your history in the game and what made you want to open up the store in the first place. So look, I've been, I've been buying, collecting, trading sneakers for the last 20 odd years, mm -hmm. right? It's been so long. I can't even remember exactly when I started collecting because collection just, became itself organically, right? Mm -hmm. You don't you don't aim to collect. You just start buying something you like, yep. and at some point it just becomes a collection, right? Yep. Just like buying cards, buying shoes. You just, you wanna consume, you wanna enjoy them, and at some point you're like, ah, oh, shit, I can't rock everything. This is too nice to rock. This is art for me. Right. I wanna keep this right. stashed away. <laughs> um, so yeah, in, I think, was it 2020 COVID era? Mm -hmm. A buddy of mine is like, man, we gotta do something else um, with, with retailers uh, closing up shops and malls. Mm -hmm. There's opportunities everywhere, and think, things are gonna change for the good later, sooner or later. Mm -hmm. So we came across a great opportunity, King of Prussia Mall, mm -hmm. um, found a great location. And you know, me and Justin were like, let's open up a sneaker store here. And we sat down like, so, how are we gonna name the store? And fast forward, we're like, we gotta leave a legacy. Mm -hmm. Boom, legacy came back. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So this is your technically third location. Technically third, because okay. one, we had to move, but we are opening a permanent third location at uh, American Dream Mall, hopefully okay, later this year. Dope, all yeah, right. That's the let's, let's keep talking about it and going around the store because I see we got jerseys and, and shorts and all this stuff yeah. over here. You got your 
Ooh. Basketball we got selection. some good basketball stuff up here. Hey, well, anyway. Basketball yeah. selection doesn't really sell too well, but very the jerseys, nice. jerseys sell really well. Mm -hmm. We're probably one of the only consignment stores, probably very few, that have a Countman Mitchell and S. Mm -hmm. So that really does well for us. Definitely. No, yeah, that's it's low key kind of yeah. hard to get that account, especially <laughs> in a lot of cities. You won't even really see it like that. It's a lot yeah. of more of those thrift type vibes when it yeah, comes to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So over here, you got your store merch. Yep, everything right much. here. Everybody's been coughing a lot of stuff out yes, in here. People this, this, these rocks, the man, they go quick. It's just a classic, clean, black and gold, white mm -hmm. and gold color blocking with legacy on it. I like it. It gives yeah, that yeah, premium yeah. You know, it's vibe. a cool little story for you. Mark Smith, you know Mark Smith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He designed this logo for us. Really? Yeah, yeah that's the graffiti logo Damn. he did for us. Yeah, yeah. That's He's what's such up. a cool guy. I hit up on my IG. He's like, yeah, I'll do a logo for you, but you got to you gotta donate some money to a hospital. Like, done deal. No problem. So, donate a couple of bucks to a hospital, and he, he designed me a logo. That's what's we up. We did it in white and black. We're only going to do it once, and this is the leftover. We had a King of Prussia mall, so mm -hmm. we just carried over. We put some out there for a month. We put stashed them away. We just mm -hmm. like bring them back for New York. Dope. That's yeah, what's yeah, up. Yeah. That's just, what's just up. Just having somebody so epic who did all that lasering things at Nike yeah, back in early 2000s. Having him design a logo for you is just fucking cool. At least I think so. No, no, for sure, yeah. for sure. So from being at different malls, we mm -hmm. learned that people don't really just come in to shop. Um, per se, that they want a pair of shoes mm -hmm. or they want a hoodie. They want to fit sometimes. They want to they want to dress for an outfit for an event for tonight. So what we try to do is that whatever is the cool streetwear from essentials to chrome to anti, whatever people want, we try to bring in the latest selection or even like older selection of things mm -hmm. that don't exist out in the market anymore, and you know give them an opportunity to pair it up and make a make a fit for tonight. So I like it. Yeah, I know, bro. The essentials especially have been. And key yeah. to the game, seeing a lot of people wearing this stuff. I know everybody Comfy, likes it. Right? How do you feel about it? Do you wear it that often? I love essentials, man. I love essentials. Okay. It's, it's so easy to wear. I got like a couple you, pair of shorts, but that's like it. Yeah, 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 but you know, the colors are so easy. You can like mix and match certain things and it, it just flows so nicely. Yeah. And it's it's loose fitted too. So you're not like, you know, like, yeah. it's like uh, yeah. you just rock it all, all easy. Yeah. Chilling. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got the essentials, you got the kicks. We got some more stuff back here as well. We're gonna get into the crazy shoes later. You guys are gonna love that. But right here, accessories. What yeah, do you guys, how's that go? Accessories, um, you know, just a little bit of everything. We got uh, Supreme hats, skateboards, uh, beanies, caps, everything, man. Whatever, whatever the uh, whatever the kids want, I mean, we try to fill it up. Is this open or do we need to get a key? We need to get a key. Okay, we gotta get a key for this side and that side. We'll come back in a second. They're gonna unlock that. We're gonna go through the rest of the store and then we're gonna unlock the bangers, the stuff that we love to talk about the yeah. most, the PEs and the samples. So this is the stuff anti-social over here. This yeah. stuff does pretty well on the East Coast. Though. Yeah, it, it used to do really well for us KOP and, okay. and, and King of Pressure Mall and okay. PA. But here, a lot of people surprisingly don't know much about anti. Yeah, okay. And when they discover the collection, they like it. They're like, oh shit, this is cool. This is nice. This is different. This is affordable. Mm -hmm. So people are learning about it more and more. So how's the Panda Dunks doing for you guys out, out here on the East Coast? <laughs> we can't keep them can't keep long them enough, right? man. The Jordan 3 sells out in two days. The Pandas go out in two hours. <laughs> we get them in and they're already out. Like, it's, I, I know people hate on this shoe a lot. This is the women's pair. But I think it's such a clean, classic, simple pair. Right. Simple pair, right? If you don't right. know what to wear, what do I wear? Put on a pair of white and whites or pandas. Right. That's it. You can't Simple. go wrong with that. You can't go wrong, right? We literally were standing on the corner earlier today and I was like, how many Air Force Ones can I find today? Like all whites. <laughs> and uh, we found like five pairs within like two minutes, just yeah. people walking by and everything. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I like Well, I don't like and pandas. That's, that's, that's just a <laughs> that simple shoe. Funny. It's an all day funny. shoe. So <laughs> these items are not available to the public. Therefore, mainly display purposes. And like we talked about him, actually, I'm gonna just let him explain his time in the game and the work that he's put in. We've known each other for some while now. So I'll let him do his talking. So I've been collecting for almost 20 plus years, right? So I figured instead of keeping everything locked away in storage units, why don't I display it at the store? This is a small curation of my personal stash. Um, most of which is not for sale. Maybe a couple of the Louis and et cetera pairs maybe, mm -hmm. but most of it is just personal stash, right? This is never gonna go anywhere. Just getting into some of these things, right? This this here is a football Jordan 12 in, with football material on it, made for NFL players that are sponsored by the Jordan brand. Um, I don't know, like 18 pairs made maybe? Yeah, Yeah, 18 Something pairs like made of these. And then next this to This was a it, couple years ago? Yeah, I think four years ago. Yeah, some recent, more recent. And then two years after that, they did the Jordan 5 for all the football guys. Now I love these. 
I love these right here. We gotta get a little bit closer on this one. Look at these look at the look at the material. It's like that crackling, but under the patent leather. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dope. It's like the prism look. And then you got that like iridescent kind of on the yes. tongue and on the nets and everything with the, the splatter on the sides. Vibe. The football helmet warning. Yep. Yep. With the 23 on the back. And check this one. Not a lot of people have this one. There's only Talk 11. Talk about the sixes. 11 pairs made. Talk about the sixes for your this boy. Is, <laughs> this is made for Every all the. Every time I see these, I want them so bad. These are made for all the, all the um, baseball. baseball guys. Yep. So you'll see. We'll hide the number. Number whatever of 11. <laughs> 11 pairs made for the Jumpman baseball family. I think this is a clean pair. Damn. The whole canvas upper. So, so slick. Yeah, so this is this is a uh, again another very very rare sneaker. What is what's the ballpark price on something like that? Honestly, man, I don't think I've seen another pair of those for sale. I, you and, can't, and, and things you can't like put that. something like that on the market and be like, oh, it's worth this. Like yeah. it's kind of like you just create the own price for the yeah, shoe. Yeah, and and I I got them from a, directly from one of the athletes, and mm -hmm. I'm never gonna sell them. You know, especially the relationship that I have with some right, people. Right, right. I know money. Sometimes money comes into play, but certain shoes you just cannot sell when you're given the opportunity definitely, to obtain them. Definitely, no, but for sure. But for all the bangers here, this is a bang bang. Ooh wee. Ooh, I should put gloves on, but <laughs> I washed my hands a couple times today. <laughs> this is a LV Air Force One. This is such an iconic shoe, at least I think so, um, because of what Virgil was able to convince Nike and Louis Vuitton to do, to collaborate on an Air Force One. Yeah. Like, you know, we, we've seen these in Chinatown. Yeah. We've seen back in the day, right. people cut up Gucci and Louis leathers right. and put them on their shoes. But have an actual brand come together to do this, mm -hmm. and the power of one man, it shows you just how much influence that one person has, right? Yeah. I think this, this speaks to the history books. Definitely. Let's give them a close up look too while you tell them about it. Do you, uh, you want to tell them a little bit more about your history of Sotheby's and some of the things you guys have done in the past, or you want to go into any of that? Yeah, we can. Um, well, it started with Sotheby's a while ago, right? I had a couple extra pairs of things that I uh, accumulated over the years, and an opportunity came around. Hey, do you do you do you do you want to instead of selling online, you want to sell with us? Mm -hmm. So yeah, sure, let's test it out, and it's been well. That's and I'm help promote things with them they've helped promote some of the collections that i wanted to sell because i can only hold so many shoes you know mm -hmm. i'm sitting out on a couple thousand pairs now and every now and then so certain I, pairs i get over i'm like i'm over this pair right. um time to collect other newer things because sneakers deteriorate and you change emotions yeah. also right yep. not everything is going to hold emotional value forever right you're going to get over things right and at that point you need an opportunity or an avenue to sell and sotheby's has been great dope so when that happens is it more of a like an actual display in a place or is it like all done online? Or, Cause I've never been able yeah. to like physically go to a thing and I'm it's always a, like back yeah. home, I just see it online and that's it. Yeah, it's a mix of both. Okay. Sometimes they do a display at their headquarters in New York. Okay. And sometimes they just do it online only. So it, that's convenient it, too, being right here, being able to pop yeah. in. You can go it see it in person. That's you should stop up. by, check out the Biggie 13. Oh yeah, it's in there, huh? Now. They're on the floor. You can go out oh, and see them yeah, in person. Oh yeah, we gotta go. We gotta try it. We gotta definitely yeah, gotta stop by and call. check that out. I'll let you see, see, see them out Tomorrow. I gotta go tomorrow. I'll hook it up. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. Talk about some other stuff. We gotta get in a little bit closer on these ones because I'm telling you right now, we got some uh, pretty good stuff right look, here. Look at this pair. This, I, I love this shoe. Yo. This is the D-Miles 9, but you don't see them as crispy. You the, don't the, see the them as often. The sole is supposed to be yellow like this, but it's just clean. Yep. Look at the orange pan leather. It's just beautiful. Now, I'm not a fan of orange shoes. <laughs> but these ones, I really like these. Yeah. I've always liked these. I don't these. wear a whole lot of orange myself. And what was this, like 04 or something like that? It was 03. like 03, yeah. 03. And I'm like, it's been a long time. 02, 03. Like, like I said, 20 year old shoe yeah. right here. You know, like, you think this they is look a, really good. This is a size 18. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Like, let's look at it in front of DJ's head. <laughs> this is a big Hello. shoe. Um, <laughs> I actually have a shock pair. It's a size 23. Really? Imagine, this is big. That shoe was like this big. Damn. <laughs> the Lakers one. Yeah, black and yellow. That's clean. Black okay. and yellow. We got some older stuff in here. Let's, let's, ooh, hold on. What about the fours over here? So check this, right? This is Derek Anderson's Jordan Force from um, Miami. This is the regular season pair. Jeez. Right, with the loyal one. Check this one. This Keep is the pair made for DA when he won the championship. Damn. And he wore the shoe on the parade day. Damn. Look at that. And it's got the laser in on the side with the championship. Yep, 2006 NBA World Champs. And they're in my size. So you know what that means. <laughs> they're staying here. 
Are we no, good? but these things are uh, these things are crazy, bro. You don't see like a lot seeing of these type boys. of shoes. Yeah. These or the black ones too. Like the black ones. Those two, like for older PE heads. Yeah. Those crazy girls right there. Like, yeah. If you guys don't know, yes, it may look like a white and red shoe and all that stuff, but trust me, it is definitely a crazy growth yeah. to a lot of heads. Now, here's my favorite one of mine. Ooh, Board of Governors. Dude, feel the sock liner. Oh, feel I the know. material. Trust me, I know. It's <laughs> so clean, right? You know, people say, oh, PEs aren't yeah. really that, that yeah. special. But the materials that they use on PEs promo samples it's, are so far superior. It is so that they, insane. That they give, us, give to us in the retail. It is so insane yeah, like, how well so they do it. It's so buttery these. soft. Oh Ooh. my gosh. So 88 pairs made of these for the Jordan squad. MJ handpicked, uh, you know, who's on the board of governors, mm -hmm. who gets mm -hmm. these pairs, etc. And yeah. this is one of the, you know, MJ did not pick me. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I forced my way to the team. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find my way to the board. <laughs> that is funny. Oh shoot, bro! Yeah, this yeah. is great. You got some, you got some really good stuff in here. Yeah. What else we got? Ooh, we got Ray Allen's up in here. We we got the Ray Allen Twenty One Sonics. Hold up, Sonics Twenty One. Come a little closer, people. Okay, like we talked about before. I know y'all love the Travis Scotts and all them other things. Trust me, if you want to see any of that, follow them on Instagram. You can see all that stuff. But if you want to see the OGPE grills and the good stuff. You can follow him on Instagram for those type of things too. And when it comes to these type of shoes right here, I know you guys may be hating because it's a higher number of retro and all the different shoes. Oh, these are amazing. Yeah, these not, are amazing. It's not an easy shoe to find either. No. <laughs> you don't want to find any 21s. No. Um, so what my goal here is that I want to make this like a tourist attraction, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to try to every two, two, three, four months, change this way up. Switch My next up. goal is to OG Jordan, OG ones, Ooh. OG twos, OG threes, things Ooh. you don't really see out in the wild. I put them here yeah. for a month or two and kind of like let the people absorb different kind of things that they really can't get to see in person. Yeah. I like that, bro. Yeah. Okay, so on the bottom row, we got to talk about the Air Force Ones. Yeah. Because I mean, we in yeah. New York. It only makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a little about, this, about this, especially with the Terra Squad stuff right here. So he's pretty, he's pretty deep with all the different colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Fat Joe's a New York legend, right? Um, I've been, I've been hunting his shoes down. I don't even know how long, man, since 15, 20 years. Jeez. And I finally finished all the set, but I displayed a couple different pieces here. So as you can see, the, the Terra Squad Air Forces that they made, the ones with Fat Joe had his initials on them. Okay. JC and the ones that made for his boy Macho on had his back. name on it. Yep. And everything else for friends and family. So these were like custom PE with the name on the back. Nike did this and then they also had the Terra Squad on the back end right here on the heel hits that we, you know, classically see. You got the pink ones too, right? Yeah, yeah, all pink, pink ones right ones there. Fire. And the friends and family pair made for everybody else, they just had Nike Air on the back. Mm -hmm. You can see the- Oh the damn, these ones are signed. Yeah, <laughs> they were signed too. <laughs> yeah, these, these are crazy. Yeah. Look at the, I don't know if you guys can see a close up on the materials on the toe. This one actually- But the leathers- um, They actually remade them now. Really? Yeah, they, they just remade three pairs. Wait, oh, in the retro versions. Yeah, I've yeah. been seeing people with those. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was tripping. Okay, no, is it coming three, out or what's three. going on? No, all friends and family. Okay, I don't so know. it's just like a rumor, rumor, rumor says that there might be a release, uh, but so far I think DJ Khaled posted three pairs. This one. Yeah. The white, yep. black, and yep. the black, white. Okay. So rumor says it. There might be a release. Damn. But I don't know yet. Okay, well, we got another case of some heat over here. We, we, we got some more heat Let's there. show some more heat on this eye real quick before we get out of here. One day, one day, we'll get the collection video with him. We will. Well, and one, all I'm saying one, is, once I set up. Don't let nobody ever shoot that video besides me, okay? Nobody gotta, shot it. We got to mark our territory now. We got to let the people know we're coming for the collection. <laughs> we want to see the video. <laughs> This is the for sale section of okay. here, right? This is the stuff we sell to the public Come on and it gets over. Consumed, Come on over. consumed by, you know, by the customer. So we got a lot of cool stuff in here. I'll show you one of my personal favorites is this Uncle Dunk. Ooh, it, yeah. This is probably my favorite SB in my high school era. It's such a sleeper. You know, people, people were hyped yes. over the pigeons and the parrots. I mean, so was I, yeah, but yeah. I love this fucking shoe. This, yeah. this was my favorite Dunk. Yes. SB this, Dunk. This is definitely. An amazing sneaker. Let's show them the details of these real quick too, because there is just a lot of cool aspects to this sneaker right here. And the materials, that's what we keep talking about. The materials from back in the day, the leathers, everything, A1. A1, they did such a good job A1. on this shoe. Oh yeah, and the Luckies. 
Lucky Dog. Oh, see now, but Lucky, that was one of my favorites yeah. back in the day. So I try to switch it up, right? We can offer all the new Supremes and, and the Grateful Deads. Okay. But I wanted to bring in some classic heat, right? Mm -hmm. We have more downstairs, but this is just a certain small selection of things like the Tweeds, the Luckies, the Uncles. Um, as things sell, we bring out new stuff out um, and, and consistently keep changing the display up and keep offering more and more okay. um, things that people don't generally find everywhere else. Okay. So you got Off-White. Travis Scott, the classic go-to, every day, everybody loves yeah. it. This is an older one right here. That's a 94. Ooh. Dude, look how fresh. I could see that from, look that how, is amazing. Look how fresh this pair is. Oh my God. Clean, right? Yeah. Clean. This is a trophy room. What size is that? Um, this is a 13. That's a 13? Because <laughs> it looked like my size. It's a 13. We're gonna have to work out something. I'm gonna have to talk to him later about that. All right, let's just keep going with the video. Damn, those are nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, PEs right here. What we got down here? So we got a bunch of college PEs, Travis Scott, friends and family with the Nike Air. Mm -hmm. Off Fights, Georgetown, Michigan, Thornbeckers, Oregon's. Just a whole variety of things. I'll show them the Georgetowns. Um, People want to see some rare gems. This is another good one, and it's available. What size is this one? Um, 13, I think. See, I th okay, see, now he's just messing with my emotions. Now he's just messing with my emotions. Now, this is a really nice shoe. Out of the uh, College 5 set, which one did you like the most? Um, honestly, man, I, I I don't know. I think Marquette might have been my favorite. Marquette? Marquette, Ooh. I think so. I was debating I, between Michigan and UNC. You like the Michigan, the all-yellow pair? Yeah, I kind of do. I guess you're still as fast, probably why. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's probably in your that, blood. That's, just, that's probably in your blood. That, okay, that you just sense. yellow, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know the black Ooh, end? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the white upper that came yep. out? This is the this is the gray anthracite. Really? I don't know if I've seen this one yet. But feel the material in this one. Yeah, I was just looking at that. It's like a, what is that? It's like not even like a canvas, like a. Yeah, it's like the backpack, know. waterproof material. Kind of like a, but it's not even like a ripstop. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. The suede looks really nice on those. Yeah. Those are my favorites. Um, LeBron's ever. Um, the seven? The bread? The sevens, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Dion, MJ, and the and the Penny Pack. Yeah, that's a good shoe right there. So those, sure. are, those are size 11s. Um, I'm trying to get a size 12 right now. So the 11s are for sale now. If anybody so. has a size 12, <laughs> let them know. I already have one of luck. I just got I just want to <laughs> oh, get one of those now. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like it. So here's a cool shoe that I, I think is, is, is a really cool concept they did. Um, this is Election Day yep. from 2012. Yep. Um, they never did something like that again, but like it has this. cool details on the inside. The um, yeah. elephant print. And it's That's dope to see they got the, the new elephant print ones that are coming out too with the all over with the gray and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I like that I'm one. looking forward to seeing those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's kind of like extra for a Jordan 1, but at the same time, I feel but like they it did might those, hit. They did a couple years ago, four or five years ago, the black cements. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, I have five pairs yep. of those. Uh, yep. I just love black and cement print on yeah. it. Yeah. It's just clean, right? Forgot about that. Um, Damn. Okay. Was well, there anything else you want to show in this case? I'm, I'm going to show you something. You got something so, for me? Let's step over here real okay. quick. Okay. What we got? So, so here we got we got some cool pairs, right? These, this is my personal stash. Okay. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it out, right? This is dope. Yo, check it. Wait, hold on. Show them the details on the box. Come here, look at this real quick. It's like lasered on the lid of this box. OG, like that's from uh, the jump man. You, you could tell what, what's gonna be inside the box. You, I, I, you ready? I already know. You ready? You ready? All right. So here oh, we we have 1985 Jordan One OG. Wow. Look how flawless and clean this pair is. Wow. This is look at this. Look my prized possession. Dead stock, size 12. Look at this. Yes. Look at that. Just look, look how at that shoe. clean the, the, the sock liner. The, and that's the your color. size too. Yeah, yeah. So check this out, right? This shoe, brand new size 12, right? From 85. This has been preserved so well, proper temperatures, everything. Mm -hmm. Now, this is also a brand new 85. It's brand new. Crazy. But this was not preserved well. It was locked away in somebody's basement, garage. I don't know, where the hell. It's so wild. It ended up, it ended up um, you know, making its way to me. But just, just cool looking at these two shoes. Same exact shoe. Right. One's, both are brand new too. But one's just aged differently because how they were stored. Look at this, look at this. Like, look, look at the, the stock line and the collar. It's just, it's, look, look how hard it is. Yeah, look at all that. Now you guys know the Lost and Found ones kind of resemble something similar to this style and everything. But when you preserve a shoe and take care of it, this is what we talk about in the past or in all other videos, take care of your shoes, all different things like that. Because sometimes it could be 30 years from now, next thing you know, it's a grail 
and it's in a situation like yeah. this. Like this shoe, brand new. It's probably worth like 20K plus. Yep. In this condition, I'd be lucky to get 5K out of it. Right. Right? Right. Like, look how aged it is. But it's still cool, though. It's cool to have them side by side. I, I still don't have a pair. Off OG1? Nope. It might be your year. It might be my year. Might be your year. I need a pair in general, just a single pair. I don't even care what they look like. Well, actually, I take that back. I do want a, a solid pair. You know, it's funny. I actually gifted my homie a black red OG Ooh. Uh, like seven, eight years ago. I just, I had two pairs, and he's such a good guy. I just gave him a pair. That's what's up. Um, That's yeah, what's up. I hope he still has them. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he saw the last dance. He was like, you know, I yeah. got those ones. They're probably shoes. worth quadruple what they were worth, like, <laughs> right. you know, to pay for like three, four hundred bucks. <laughs> now used pairs go for like two, three grand. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Things have changed. So we're going to pop out another fire pair. He's got another shoe for us. You right might here. need some sunglasses for this one. Oh, yeah. Come closer. Come closer for this one. You got your shades on? Yeah. All right. Me, all right. Let me see what we got. This, is a, this right. is a newer box. It's What's a newer box. 20, 2017. 2017. Oh, this is a Jordan 11, y'all. 2017. This, this is one of my favorites. Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These go crazy. Tell them what it is, because I'm this sure. Is, I, don't, this, I don't know if everybody knows. This is the Drake OVO Jordan 11 made for him in 2017. 2017, they were cooking him all kinds of things. 8s, 20s, 17s, yep. 16s, 11s, and this is one made for him as well but luckily this one is also a size i'm so glad he's a size tall because they made most of them his yes. size yes um, can we show him an in-hand detail of this go for it because show, show, i need, show, I need show to show the you guys show the i to show you guys something on the Good. soles right here you have a gold speckle in the outsole so this is a detail that a lot of people don't really see all the time uh they've done this before on previous retros different stuff we saw it on even the confetti with the oregon <laughs> duck foam posit different stuff like that got the red jump man the white pods Crazy, crazy shoe right here. White midsole, all gold, patent leather upper right here. Insane. They got the gold leather on the back. What do you feel about these? I love them. And all the Jordan 11 PEs and stuff out there. I love them. I love, I love Jordan 11s. I collect Jordan 11s like crazy, right? I probably have all, almost all every athlete's cleats that they've made so far. Um, missing one, but it's on the way. <laughs> but you know, the crazy thing about this shoe and the material that they use on them, this is not wearable. Right. It it scratches and cracks so easily. Something like this is just just collection purpose. It's a trophy yeah. item. Yeah, it's just dope to just yep. look at, right? Yep. Damn. Yeah. What do you guys think about those? Drop a comment down below. This is an insane shoe right here, bro. I don't even know if we can go on any farther. All I know is I can say, stay tuned. Hopefully one day we'll get a collection video. He just showed us a lot of heat. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see other videos in the future, make sure you guys subscribe and tell them all your info before we get out of here. Instagram, Soul Supreme. And Legacy New York, come through, check us out, follow us. Let's get it, we out. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.